Hey everybody, this is James from South Texas RC and BRB Racing. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So I went ahead and decided to pull the trigger, bought myself the brand new Stampede 4x4 VXL. And for those of you that have been following the channel, I did in the past have the Stampede 4x4, the shorter chassis. And the only thing that I didn't like about that truck is if it would have a hard rollover, the body clips would destroy the body. They would, they would rip through. Then Traxxas introduced the Haas. And I said, you know what? I've got to have that system. This truck looks very similar. What do I need to do to have that truck? What can I do to make this transition? So that's where the birth of the Haasipede project on the channel came from. And I decided, you know what? Let me see what I need. And it was a very, very simple transition. It was basically switch everything over. I put the longer chassis and, of course, the longer drive shaft in it, the shock towers because those support the clipless body set up on it. And basically, just from there, made the build. And it was an awesome truck. So when I got this one home and I started looking at the, the two trucks, I'm like, this thing is absolutely smitten identical. Uh, of course, you know, the electronics are different. At that point in time, um, at the end of that truck project, we were running the 3150 KV Spectrum motor and the 100 amp Spectrum ESC in it. And that thing was an absolute beast. And of course, yes, to include to it, it did have the center diff in it. The only features that were different on it is I didn't have the proper wheelie bar on it and I didn't have these little cool little side skirts on it, but Smitten identical truck, beautiful trucks. Um, but of course, after acquiring this one, I said, you know what? I don't need two duplicate trucks. So I'm gonna break this one down, and which I did. I broke down the Hossipede and shared the love across the board. I put my center diff and let's see what else. The center diff and the electronics I moved those over to the um, the Traxxas Slash 4x4, the one with the big tires, the Monster Slash, which is that guy sitting right back there. And I haven't test driven that one yet, but I tell you what, it's it's going to be an absolute animal because, like I said, that was a major upgrade on it. And then my Traxxas Rally, I moved over the HD kit, and the only thing that I had to do to it was, of course, cut the axles, make them shorter because the, the Rally has the shorter arms on it. And then this Stampede received the lighted bumper kits and my sway bar links on the inside. But <clears throat> let's get to the truck, the unboxing of the truck. So I go out and I run the truck and I notice it is bouncing like a basketball. And I'm like, something's not right here. So I throw a couple of spacers into the shocks and it's still riding weird. And I uh, take it apart and I, lo and behold, <laughs> the shocks have no shock oil in them whatsoever. I don't mean like... Oh, they put like 25%. No, these were bone dry shocks. Uh, so I said, you know what? Forget this. Went ahead, put some shock oil on it, ran it. Still like, oh, okay, well, still a little squishy to me. So I went ahead, went back inside, grabbed the shocks off of the Hossipede setup, which are running the red springs, a little bit more stiffer springs. And it's like I said, it's just running the, the tracks, the shocks on it. It's just to have your spring and a couple of body, a uh, couple of spacers on the shock. That trimmed this out perfectly. And what I did too, the position that I ran them in, because this is just how I like to do it, is that the shock on the top, it sits in hole number two, and then on the bottoms, I run them all the way out to the very last. And that gives it the, the ride and the stance that I like. But back to the truck. So after I do that, then I notice about a, you know 10, 15 minutes in of a loud crunch, bang, boom, and I'm like, uh-oh, something's not right here. And I go and I check and I grab my motor and I'm like, oh, well, great. The motor came loose from the motor plate. And that wreaked havoc, of course. It, it messed up the pinion. It messed up the, the spur a uh, little bit, little chunk on the spur, nothing, uh, nothing major. But the, I guess the way it bound, it also causes hairline crack in the center diff. But no big deal on that. I did have extra parts laying around, so I got it back up and running. But so I guess I could say that everything that came from the Hossipede is going to be my shocks my bumpers and my sway bar links are the only things that I transitioned over to this truck. Oh yeah, and my self-made little battery hold down to raise up to run my Gigantor batteries in it. Other than that, another thing Traxxas uh, fanboys out there probably won't like is you see the word Arma. I went ahead and used the Arma heat sink and their fans, of course over here on the ESC also and to show you how that's set up is the fan does not clip all the way down So you use a couple of screws right here just to hold the screen on and you run a zip tie Directly through the center 
and that little raised up area is enough room to put it on, flip it down. And that's all that I have done to this truck, with the exception of also, I want to discuss gearing. So of course with the gearing, where we use the uh, Traxxas Max at first is a good example where I'm going. So box, the side of the box tells you that it was geared 5023, and that's for 3S, 4S running. You go to the actual gearing legend, it tells you that 5023 is set up to run 3 and 4S LiPos. Now this is the part to pay really close attention to. So this truck is geared 5414, and it says on the side of the box 3S, whatnot. But when you go to the actual gearing legend, and this is where you want to pay attention to things because you don't want any overheat problems, it tells you that in the gearing legend that it's preferred to run 11, 12, and 13 on your pinions for 3S or extreme off-road driving. When you go to where it says the box stock gearing, the 54 over 14, it says it's acceptable for the six and seven cell nickel metal or 2S lipo. So just to play it safe, follow that chart, guys, and bump it down. What I ran in this one here is I went a couple of teeth down, so I'm running 12 over 54 on this truck. So with that being said, let me go ahead and get this truck out, do a couple of runs with it, see how it performs with the gearing. Stoked about seeing how the Traxxas Slash is going to perform now, my uh, Monster Slash sitting back there, because that was set up and that was running a 3200 Spectrum motor in it, but I only had an 85 amp ESC and it was running a slipper clutch. Now, like I said, I'm running the old Hossipede project parts in there and it's running a center diff in it and it's also running that 3150 kV motor and that 100 amp ESC. So that's gonna that's gonna be a major improvement on it. And of course the uh, the rally, not much is gonna be you know changing up on the performance wise with that truck because like I said, all that one received was the HD kit, which that contains your your bearing hubs. Uh, let's see, it was what in there? Bearing hubs, the shock towers, you know things of that nature, the heavy duty shocks. That's all that that received. So like I said, super stoked about these projects. There is more projects that are in the works that I'm working on. I'm going to be doing the uh, the Traxxas Vortex Supra. Uh, I'm going to be getting a hold of that truck and doing a brushless conversion to it. The Hot Rod Coupe is another one to discuss that um, when flipping that one over, we're not really supposed to flip over, but flipping that truck over, it seemed like on the very back of the, the bed, it would, it would grab right there and it, it scarred it up. So that one's getting transitioned over to a coupe. So like I said, guys, a lot of exciting projects that are in the works with South Texas RC and BRB Racing. So I'm going to go ahead, stop this real quick. I'm going to go out, make a few runs, and show you what these trucks are about. Oh yeah, wheelie all the way down. This truck is absolutely amazing. Oh yeah. Look at that, wheelie, 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 oh yeah. Another thing I forgot to mention also, other projects that I have going on is that um, with the Arma Sentin, a lot of people I noticed to uh, make it to like a monster Sentin to run bigger tires on it, that they've been chopping up the bodies. And of course, uh, by chance I did have, once again, duplicate trucks, I had two Sentins. So I decided, you know what, let me go ahead and do another project, and that was taking a Sentin and turning it into a Big Rock. So also I'll show you guys how to do that transition on the channel. But yeah, this thing is absolutely amazing truck, it really is. Love it. So I'm going to run it a while here, and then we're going to shoot some temps, and then we'll get out. If if time allows, it's starting to get dark out. We'll run the uh, Monster Slash also. That's if time allows. Oh, 
yeah, wheelie all the way down. Make a couple more passes with it, and then we'll we'll do the temp check. I think I'm gonna get those rubber um, wheelie bar wheels because those plastic ones are kind of yeah, those are kind of harsh. All right, let's check some temps. All right, let's see what we got here. So motor temp. Beautiful, beautiful. And ESC temp. Shoot it from this side. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get the slash out now. So I'm going to have to do super careful runs because guess what? Dummy me forgot to grab a body pin to hold the battery in place. But like I said, I'm going to be, I'm going to be careful, careful, careful is the word. At least want to try it, you know, a couple passes up and down. Nothing crazy, right? Nothing crazy because this is, oh, God. All right, let's try this. Yep, it's definitely getting dark out here already on me. However, we do have lights. So let's test this one out. Woo! Okay, that was faster than I expected. Wow. I gotta be careful because I don't have that battery secured properly. Man. And this one is geared 11 over 54. And it's got now, of course, the center diff in it. 3150 kV Spectrum motor and 100 amp Spectrum ESC. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. Awesome. Woo! Love it. All right, one more pass coming up, and then I need to stop. Uh, maybe one more run. Oh, yeah. Woo! Wheelie. Yeah, like I said, shouldn't be doing that hard because battery's not secure. Let's do it one more time. See the wheelies. Wow, yeah, baby. Did I lose the battery? No, it's still in there. Thought it popped out the side. It was just a shadow. Whew, my heart almost stopped. But anyway, guys, this is James from South Texas RC and BRB Racing. And until next time, guys, I am out.